Hello friends, welcome to Karma Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you five new features of Mac OS Sequoia. So Mac OS Sequoia is already out now, so you can go and update your Mac. Now starting with the first feature, which is for Safari browser, there are two new updates in Safari browser. First of all, if you're using YouTube and if you play a video on YouTube, then you can use new feature called video viewer. So you can just simply go and select this icon, select video viewer. And what it will do is it will kind of make it full screen. And so if you don't want to go in actual full screen, then you can use this new feature and to exit either you can use this arrow or else again, you can go and select this icon and select exit video viewer. So yeah, this is the first new update of Safari browser. And the second update is if you are surfing on, uh, you know, Safari browser and if you are reading a particular article, so let's say if I search for any article for now, let's open this particular article. Now, if you want to hide distracting items like there are ads, there are photos over here. If you don't want to see any of this, you just want to read the article, then you can hide the distracting items. Now for that, again, you have to select this particular icon, select hide distracting items and you just have to point your cursor over there and tap on that. And just like the Thanos snap, it will be gone. Again, if I don't want to see this image, tap on that and it will be gone. Now there is a new image, tap on that and it will be gone. So yeah, uh, it is really very helpful. Uh, it will definitely eliminate the distracting items if you don't want. And to save the changes, you can select done. But whenever you refresh the page, uh, all the things will be back on that web page. Now, if you go back to the original page, again, you can select that particular icon and select show hidden items and select show to bring back all the ads or the images which you have hidden. So yeah, these are the two cool new updates in Safari browser. Now getting on to the second feature, which is also new in Mac OS Sequoia, and that is iPhone mirroring. So whenever you update your Mac to Mac OS Sequoia, automatically you get this iPhone mirroring icon. You can tap on iPhone mirroring and to use iPhone mirroring, make sure that your iPhone and your Mac is running on same Wi-Fi and same Apple ID. So yeah. And the cool new thing is that the iPhone is still logged and I'm using my iPhone over here. So I can open settings and to go to home page, I can select this bar over here. I can open app store. I can download application with the help of iPhone mirroring. I can go to recent app like this and I can close it from the background. So yeah, I can operate or I can control my iPhone directly uh, on my Mac and uh, the iPhone is still locked. To exit iPhone mirroring, all you can do is just unlock your iPhone and now you can see iPhone is in use. So iPhone mirroring has ended due to iPhone use. So whenever you want to connect it back, make sure that you lock your iPhone and later on you can select connect and it will uh, basically show your iPhone. So yeah, this is a cool new feature. Do use it. Now the third feature is uh, split screen. So there is an update uh, in split screen. So if you're using multiple applications at the same time and if you want to use split screen, all you can do is point your cursor over here on the green button and you get multiple options. Earlier, there was only two options, uh, tile window to left and tile window to right. Now you get multiple options. And if I want to use four applications at the same time, I'm going to use this particular uh, option. And now you can see automatically all the applications has arranged themselves so yeah i can use this and to go back to the normal view either you can uh, double tap on the window to make it full screen and this is how you can exit it or else uh, if it uh, if it is still in uh, you know split screen view you can use this fill option as well so yeah this is how you can use this new split screen option in mac os sequoia now the next update is related to notes application and there are multiple updates in notes app. So first update is uh, now you can convert any particular text to title or heading. Now what it will do is it will hide the item present below it. Uh, so yeah, how you can use it. If I want to make karma tag as title or heading, I'm going to select that text, then right click, go to paragraph style, select title or heading, whichever is good to you. If I select title now, uh, Karma Tech is in bold and we have got this arrow option. So if I tap on that, now the text which was present below Karma Tech is hidden. To bring it back, now I can select this drop down and I can bring the text back. So yeah, you can use heading or title option to use this feature. Now the second thing is, now you can change the text color. So if I want to change the color of Karma Tech, I'm going to select that text, go to style option over here, select color option. You get five color option for now, purple, 
uh, you get pink and also you get other color option as well so you can choose whichever option is good to you so this was the second update in notes app the third one is now you can use mathematical expression directly uh, on notes application because of this new update so if i write any particular number and if i multiply it by six and if i press is equal to i you know automatically get answer in front of it so to save the answer press space bar to save it so you can directly uh, you know use any mathematical expression and find the answer uh, automatically so this is one more update and the next update is now you can record audio in notes app and that audio will also be converted to transcription so yeah these are few updates you get in notes application i have already made a dedicated video on that you can go and check it out now the next new update you get with mac os sequoia is now you can change the wallpapers obviously we do get a dedicated wallpaper with each os update uh, we do get sequoia wallpaper as well which you can turn to dark light or you can keep it automatic but the interesting thing is you get macintosh uh, wallpapers now which will basically be a pixelated videos like this so yeah it's a cool new update and you can also change the color for that now currently you can see it is in green but you can change it to yellow if you want to and you will get the same animation effect of pixels like this so yeah you can choose whichever color option you want so this is also a cool new update after mac os sequoia so that's pretty much it for today's video guys but uh, there are more new features available in mac os sequoia if you want a video on that then do let me know in comment section below if you find this video informative don't forget to subscribe i'll see you all in the next one thank you